Some children in foster care were with their biological parents for several years before entering the system, while others only had a few moments with their birth parents. No matter how long or short, it can be a traumatic experience feeling alone as a child. But for this week's Forever Family, we need one young man who looks forward to creating a new sense of family. When you first meet Matthew, you wouldn't guess that he's 13 years old because he carries himself as someone who is much older. Why? Well, I'll dive into that in a moment. But for now, Matthew is focused on things that bring him joy. And a big one is football. Yeah, make that snap, okay? Boom. And what better person to give him a boost than this guy right here? There we go. Derek Johnson, a former linebacker for the University of Texas and Kansas City Chiefs. Boom, like that. And then you can go get the tackle. Matthew, I, I got to tell you that I love your demeanor, your, your calmness. Uh, you've listened. I think that's a skill that people, uh, especially as kids, I even tell my kids all the time, listening is, is a skill. We all met at Crossover, an incredible sports complex in Leander, where Matthew was able to let loose for the day and have some fun. What's up? This is Matthew and Hannah coming at you live. What's up, Matthew? Hi. What are we about to go do? Uh. After we enjoyed some time passing the ball and exploring, Matthew and I sat down for a chat. He tells me he never actually got to meet his biological mother. Sometimes I might feel like it's my fault that my mom left me. I, I never knew what happened, so she, she never got to get me. I never really get to know her, so I really do miss my mom and I love her no matter what. He's lived in all kinds of different places, having to navigate life without a true sense of family, something he longs for. A family that gets to care for me, have a roof over my head, gives me a warm bed, a water, over, water, and stuff that I need, and they get to love me. His main focus is becoming a better person in every way possible. And so I want to be a person that loves. So the thing I told me, I told myself a long time ago is I don't want to be like my dad. At the end of the interview, Matthew was surprised with a signed ball from Derek Johnson. I want to give you this brand new NFL football oh, cool. signed by Derek Johnson. What? Hey, Matthew, you are a superstar. Thank so, you. You're welcome. I'm going to keep it locked up somewhere safe. Oh, can I give you a hug? You did so good at that interview. Oh my God. I really appreciate you opening up about everything. And I hope you get everything you want. And I think you will. I really do. An amazing young man with a very bright future. In Austin, Hannah Rucker, KVU News. Such a sweetheart, and I caught this moment. They weren't even looking over at me. They were just vibing. This is his caseworker, Linda. She is, I just love her. She has been a caseworker, y'all, for nearly 10 years. She said she used to be a teacher, and, you know, she would notice students who were in CPS and foster care in her class needing some extra love and attention. Some of them were just falling behind. She felt called to go and help those kids, so she left being a teacher to become a caseworker. Linda, we love you and all the caseworkers out there. Y'all are truly doing God's work. 